small demonstration will now take place. So if you're lucky enough to have some cash left over after buying an iPhone and you've just got yourself the Apple AirPods Pro Generation 2, here are some tips and tricks to get you started and some important stuff that you need to know when it comes to using these on a daily basis. Some of the tips will be quite basic and some of them will be kind of hidden and quite advanced. Anyway, let's start this one off with some fire. So a lot of people don't know about this one. With the AirPods in your ears, a new sub menu will pop up in your settings and it will be labeled your name and AirPods. If you tap that, then scroll down here to where it says accessibility. Tap that. Now go to this section here where it says audio accessibility settings. And at the top here is probably the most overlooked setting when it comes to AirPods on the entire device. And trust me, this makes a big difference. So if you enable headphone accommodations, toggle it on and create a custom audio setup, what the phone will now do is test your ears for your unique hearing abilities and customize a specific EQ for your ears and your ears only. If you do happen to have an audiogram already, which is very unlikely, you can actually even add it to the app. But what you want to do here is go to don't use audiogram if you don't have one and continue. This process takes around three or four minutes, but once it's done, your AirPods Pro will now sound better than they did originally because they've been tailored for you specifically. And if you feel like you're missing out on the original EQ that was dialed in by Apple, you can come back here and toggle on and off the headphone accommodation setting whenever you want. So now that you've made the sound more your own, let's put an official stamp on your AirPods. Go to the settings, go to your AirPods Pro menu. And inside this menu are a very particular set of skills that we'll be coming back to throughout the video. So just remember where this sub menu is. But first things first, you'll notice that the AirPods have a very boring and generic name. So let's rename it and make it something more specific. This will help you find it within Bluetooth settings in the future. Okay, tip number three and staying in the same AirPods menu. It's important to know that only so much ambient noise can be blocked out using the ANC technology on the earbuds and the phone. A large contributing factor for successful noise cancellation is making sure that you have a good seal in your ear. And we can do this with the software on your iPhone. So where it says ear tip fit test, if you tap that, put your AirPods back in your ears, your phone will play music to your AirPods and it will tell you if you need to adjust the AirPods or even change the tip. And Apple have provided four sets of ear tips, including the ones that are actually on the AirPods out of the box. So you can make sure you get the right size for you. And you might not realize it, but maybe your two ear canals have slightly different sizes. So you might actually end up using two different size tips, but use this software to make sure you get the right size for you. Because when you do, not only will the noise cancelling be better, but your sound quality will also be improved. Okay, this tip is something you probably already know, but think of this kind of as a refresher, just in case you forgot some of the basics. So on the flat part of the AirPods Pro stem, you can control the volume. So if you swipe up on the stem, it adjusts the volume upwards. If you swipe down, it adjusts the volume downwards. That's the same on both sides. A single pinch on either stem will stop or start the music. A double pinch will skip forward a track, a triple pinch will rewind the current track, and a quadruple pinch goes to the previous track that you were listening to. And a long pinch on either stem out of the box will toggle between noise cancelling and transparency mode. Now when it comes to using these input methods, don't be scared to pinch quite firmly. The amount of pressure required to activate these modes is quite similar to the amount of force required to pop some bubble wrap. And the only reason I tell you this is because when I first started using these, I was a bit scared to pinch them too hard and maybe break them, but you don't need to worry about that. They're really well built. So as you might have noticed in the previous tip, when it came to pinching and holding to toggle through modes, the option to switch off ANC and transparency mode wasn't available, so let's fix that. Now in the AirPods settings menu, if you scroll down to where it says press and hold AirPods, on the left side, you can actually tick off as well. So when you cycle through the modes, one of the modes will be off. I do recommend you do this because sometimes you don't need transparency and you don't need noise cancelling. For example, if you're in a library or somewhere that's very quiet anyway, why have noise cancelling on? 
it actually uses more power and turning it off will actually make the AirPods last a little bit longer. And on the right earbud, I don't really need the same controls again. As standard, they are exactly the same as the left earbud. So what I'm gonna do is switch it to Siri. And my logic behind this is, why have the same controls on both sides? That just doesn't make sense. Unless you're the type of person who likes to wear one earbud at a time. Now, this is the way that I set it up, but I do recommend that you set this up in your own way, whatever works for you. So now let's get into something new and improved with the Apple AirPods Pro Generation 2. And this one will further tailor the sound for you as a unique individual. In the settings and AirPods menu, scroll down to where it says personalized spatial audio, tap on that. Now here where it says personalized spatial audio, tap that. What this will do is similar to the first tip that I showed you, is actually customize the sound for your ears, but the way that it does it is very different. It will actually use the LiDAR sensor, the 3D mapping technology on the front cameras in order to scan your head shape and your ear shape and customize the 3D experience based off of that data. Now, if you think this sounds gimmicky, trust me it isn't, and to prove it, go to this see and hear how it works. When you tap on that with your AirPods in your ears, you'll hear audio, how it would normally sound with stereo audio, and then you can hear how it would sound with full spatial audio. This is also known as 360 reality audio. If you're searching on Tidal or something like that, if you've never heard it before, trust me, this is gonna blow your mind. Okay, so now you've set up your customized spatial audio sound signature. Here's a little hidden shortcut that will allow you to control the spatial audio mapping manually. Make sure you have your AirPods in your ear first, then swipe down from the top right corner to bring down your control center. Now here where you see the AirPods volume, if you hold your finger down on that volume bar, another menu pops up, and then down here in the bottom right corner where it says spatial audio head track, if you tap that, you can actually toggle off the spatial mapping, you can set it to fixed, so no matter how you move your head, the audio mapping will stay centrally placed and then you can have head track. So if you tilt your head left or right, or forward or back, the sound EQ will adjust according to that, giving you the sense of being in a 3D bubble of sound. So this is the best way to access this feature when you want to use it and when you don't want to use it. And one example of when you could use the fixed audio is let's say you're on a plane and you're kind of resting your head against the window, which a lot of people do. What would happen with the head track sound is one ear would be louder than the other. If that starts bothering you, you could then go into fixed or just switch it off entirely. That's just one use case. Okay, so this next setting is just a quick one, but it might be useful for some of you. If you go back into your settings and your AirPods menu, scroll down to where it says microphone and tap on that. Now what you can do here is you can actually tell the AirPods to use a specific side for mic pickup when you're on voice calls. I personally leave this on auto so that it intelligently switches left to right depending on the surrounding noise. But I'm sure there's some good use cases for this Otherwise, Apple wouldn't have added it. So let me know if this feature is useful for you and why I'm genuinely interested to know how you would use this. Okay, so here's some more new stuff. And if you haven't done so already, I do recommend you add the Find My app to your home screen somewhere, or go one better and add the Find My widget to your home screen. So the new features that I'm talking about when it comes to the Find My app and the AirPods Pro is we can now play a sound through the built-in speakers on the AirPods Pro case. And there's also an LED light here as well that will light up as well. If it's in a dark space and the LED isn't covered, you might be able to track it down thanks to that green LED light. And I will say the sound is significantly louder than what the AirPods make on their own. Very similar to the sound you get from the Apple AirTags. And of course, just like before, you can use the Find Nearby to actually use your phone to navigate towards where the AirPods are. And that works for each bud and the case as well. And here's a couple of little bonus tricks. So when it comes to checking battery life on the AirPods, other than doing it on your phone, you can actually push the button on the back of the case. This will light up the LED on the front. Red means bad, orange means okay, and green means good. And when you place the AirBuds on a charging mat, it actually uses the speaker to indicate that it's charging and you'll see the light on the front also indicates how much battery is left. And once the light goes out, you can actually double tap the case to check the status 
of the current battery. And the AirPods Pro can be quite slippery to lift out of the case sometimes. So an easy way to make sure you do it every time is to literally put your finger into the little groove at the back and push forward. And that just kind of rolls them out nicely. Now here's a well hidden setting. If you're the type of person who likes to wear one AirPod at a time, you'll notice that when you do this, it automatically switches to noise cancellation off. If you want noise cancelling on when you're rocking just one single AirPod, go to settings, go to your AirPod menu, scroll down to where it says accessibility. And here you'll see a little toggle for noise cancellation with one AirPod. I guess the advantage of using your AirPods one at a time is you actually double the playback time on the AirPods because while you're using one, the other one's charging, and then you can rotate like that. It's not something that I would do on a daily basis, but this is a good setting for some of you. Let me know if this is useful for you. So do you know what's annoying? Interruptions. And I just wanna pause here and say, please subscribe, because if you do, that means I don't have to do as many sponsored ads in my videos, which means less interruptions. But anyway, by default, the new AirPods will read notifications from your device, and Siri will continue to listen afterwards, allowing you to quick reply if the app sending the notification is a messaging app, for example. And I think that's a great feature, but do you know what's not useful? A thousand announcements from Instagram or Twitter or TikTok. So I suggest you get real specific about what notifications you want Siri to read out when you're listening to your AirPods. Go to your settings menu, but this time we're going to notifications. And then here we can actually scroll down to where it says announce notifications, and we can choose what apps we want to receive notifications from, which will be read out by Siri through the AirPods. Go one by one through this list and switch off anything that you think will be an annoyance or a distraction when you're listening to music or watching a film or whatever you're doing with your AirPods. And there is another feature here which allows Siri to reply without confirmation. I don't recommend you switch this on, but play around with it. Maybe it'll work for you. And here's a little bonus tip that's very similar to the notification tip. If you scroll down to phone and you go to announce calls, you can actually get Siri to tell you who is calling you through the AirPods. So you don't even have to get your phone out of your pocket and see. And you can actually even set this up to work with headphones and car, or you could just switch it off and never use it. Again, this is personal preference. I'll leave that to you. Okay, so you've made it this far into the video. And as a reward, I've saved some hidden gems for the end. Now, I can't tell you how good this is. It's really something that you have to hear for yourself. And I will say something I greatly appreciate on this device, because they say the human brain didn't evolve by being in absolute silence, even at night. And in fact, studies show that noise, such as rain sounds, can unconsciously relax the mind and produce alpha waves. And when this happens, you get very close to the state of mind that you're in when you're sleeping, which can help you be more creative, more relaxed, less stressed, all good things. So here's a question for you. Do you find that sometimes it's easier for you to think and focus or sleep with ambient sounds in the background? Try this out and thank me later. Go to your settings, go to accessibility, scroll down to audio and visual, and here at the top where it says background sounds, tap that. And here Apple have handpicked some sounds that are designed to help you focus, sleep, relax, meditate, and various other things. And the rain one for me is my personal favorite. This really helps me get in a good mindset to write and be creative. Although I don't need to use it that much because it's always raining in England and I've got the real thing <laughs> most of the time. Now here's a follow up to the last feature. Go to settings, then go to control center. At the bottom where it says more controls, you'll see this hearing. If you hit the plus next to that, that will add it to the top here. You can drag it around however you want and position it wherever you want within the control center. Now, when you swipe down from the top right corner and bring down your control center, you'll see this ear icon. If you tap this, you can quickly access the background sounds whenever you want. And if you want to switch the sounds off, there's a button down here to do so. This gives you a very quick way to access those hidden sounds and even adjust the volume without having to go into the settings and all the menus. So I do recommend you set this up, especially if you liked that previous tip. Now, have you ever had to buy an audio jack splitter to share your audio or a movie you're watching with the person sitting next to you? Well, 
with the AirPods Pro, if the person sitting next to you has AirPods or Beats headphones that are also made by Apple, you can actually share the audio to them wirelessly and it's very easy to do. All you do is swipe down from the top and you go to the AirPods here and you can go to share audio. Now, if you've got one of the newer devices that has the dynamic island, you can actually tap the dynamic island, hold your finger on it, go to the AirPods here and go to the share menu from there. There's a few ways to do it and that's just two of them. Okay, so have you ever wanted a superpower? I'm guessing the answer is yes. And while the AirPods Pro can't make you invisible or make you fly, they can give you a superhuman hearing ability, sort of. And disclaimer here, don't hold me responsible for any arguments that may be caused if you choose to use this tip. Using that quick setting that we added to the control center, the little ear icon, we can now actually enable the superpower that's known as Live Listen. So when we turn this on, essentially what we can do is leave our phone somewhere and listen to everything that the microphone is picking up remotely. But remember, you do need to stay within the Bluetooth 5.3 range of the device to be able to hear everything that your device is hearing. So keep this one secret, keep it safe. So once again, going back to the control center and the little ear icon that we added, you'll notice right now it's green and there's a little tick. Now, if I turn up the device, it'll actually tell you when you're listening to music too loud, which is something that a lot of people don't realize that they're doing. So keep an eye on that and it will warn you as to when you're banging your eardrums a little too hard, it's there to help you just like this video is here to help you make the most of your AirPods. And if you guys want more secret tips and tricks for the iPhone, there is a thumbnail on screen right now. Go check that out and I will see you in the next one. So don't be late.